Hey guys, TGIF. Welcome to the weekend. It's Friday afternoon. Um, heading out of town and I was just thinking about all of you um, as I'm leaving and thinking about um, some of the struggles that we face uh, when it comes to weekends and, and families and planning to go out or going over to people's homes to visit or go to a party and uh, you know we're just we're all faced with those challenges um, when we do those kinds of things so I wanted to kind of um, give you a couple of some tips and tricks that I use that I've developed over the years that's kind of helped me to you know get through some of the really tougher times you know I'm definitely one of those people that looked forward to family parties the kids birthdays uh, cake uh, all ice cream pizza you know um, dips and chips and all that fun stuff um, you know that GPS is, signal lost that is the mo uh, that was my past and um, and uh, not to say that I do not uh, partake once in a while, but, um, you know, after some time goes by and you start to develop some good habits, some of those things don't, you know, seem as attractive to you anymore. So um, you kind of start to lay off. But baby steps, right? We always talk about baby steps. You have to walk before you can run. Um, you know, I started off as um, a Jenny Craig uh, customer, and it worked great. Um, it taught me how to control my portions. Um, it taught me how to use ve vegetables to volumize my dishes so that um, it seemed like I was eating more even though it was good for me. And so uh, that's kind of, you know, where I came from. When I first started, um, you know, the goal was to be under your calories, and that was the goal. And then over time, the more you knew, um, more information, read about um, calories and proteins and working out and what all these things uh, can do for you, um, learning about clean eating, uh, so on and so forth, you know, your habits change and things change, um, and your choices change and develop. So you start to get um, a little bit more um, focused on things that you're eating. But again, baby steps. Um, so I'm actually headed, as I mentioned, out of town this weekend. And I was starting to think about dinner tonight. Because I know that we're going to a catered event. And I think it's Italian, but I'm not really sure. And so I'm, you know, thinking pasta. That's crazy um, as far as calories goes as it is. And um, as I mentioned, started to think about uh, some different things that I can do um, to try to stay within my calories, um, to try to still enjoy myself, um, and maybe um, indulge a little bit but not overdo it. So some of the things that um, I will do is if I know that I'm going to be invited to a party or I'm going to be going to a friend's house, I ask if I can bring an appetizer or a dessert and find a clean recipe to make. Um, I just did this at a barbecue a few weeks ago. Um, I went with a Mexican layer dip and everybody thought that it was scrumptious and yummy and it was um, within my calorie range. It was um, avocados and refried beans and tomatoes and really, really good stuff. There wasn't cheese, there wasn't sour cream, but nobody seemed to notice or, you know, it was gone by the time the party was over. So. Um, no, you know, nobody gave me a hard time. It wasn't like it was obvious. Um, and so that's kind of how um, I handled that situation. Um, when I know I'm going to a restaurant, I always try to look it up online first um, and see if I can pick out what I would like from the menu before I get there. Um, depending on where I am with the day, if it's just a, a, a chicken uh, with salad with chicken on it, um, you know, dressing on the sides, um, no cheeses. Um, you want to obviously stay away from fried foods. Um, any breads that come to the table should be off limits. Um, bread is hard. I admit bread is hard. Um, but you really just don't know how they make the bread and what's in it and um, can be very loaded with calories and carbs. So, um, you know, try to make uh, smart decisions. Maybe they even have the nutritional information on there so that you can make a smart decision before you get there. Um, you know, limit yourself to one, maybe two glasses of wine instead of, you know, drinking a sweet margarita drink where it's just full of sugar and calories. Um, you know, if you want to have a, a beer or something like that, a little bit of a lighter beer, you know, you can do something like that. 
Um, the other thing to do when you're at a restaurant with your friends is to order first because once you start to hear what everybody else is ordering, your um, mind may change and then you're sabotaging yourself. So order first. Um, I always get ice water too, um, just to make sure that, you know, I'm kind of still hydrating myself and that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, those are some of my tips and tricks. Um, I hope that it helps you guys. Um, you know, you're, you're all always on my mind all the time. And I hope that everyone, you know, tries to make the best decisions that they can when they're out and about. Um, you know, I know it's not possible constantly to, um, you know, do everything 100% perfect. I mean, we're not perfect. Life is life. And, you know, I'm not saying that of myself either. Um, but if I can um, give you all the um, information and knowledge that I know um, to help you get a little bit further in your journey, then I want to do that. Um, you know, I speak from experience when I say that um, my weekends were cheat weekends and I would do really great all week. And this was, you know, even going back to the Jenny Craig days, I'd do great all week. And then I would drink and we'd go out all weekend long and I'd eat whatever I wanted to because I was doing so good all week then and working out, etc. I mean, all it was was a setback for me and it took me that much longer to get to the place that I am now. Um, I can tell you that um, I started logging meals and um, um, cleaner eating uh, in March. And that was the quickest from March till now, uh, March to September, was the fastest results that I saw out of the two years total that I have been working out and eating healthier. Um, that was the quickest results that I had seen overall. Um, as soon as I changed what I was eating and stopped cheating all weekend long, um, it came off faster. I'm now developing muscles, things of that nature. So um, it's kind of cool and interesting. And it's also fun to tell people that, you know, you don't have to kill yourself with the insanity workout. You really just have to monitor your eating habits. And that's all it is to it. Baby steps, guys. Okay. And I'm with you. Message me if you have any questions. Um, I hope that you found the tips and tricks um, health helpful. And I hope that you have an awesome weekend. And I will talk to you soon.